Hi everyone. Today I will be showing you one very good alternative for gold that you can use in your work and it turns out to be really cheap and it works wonderfully well. It is very shiny and very beautiful. So to break a surprise the gold that I will be using is Fabrica Camel Powder. It is approximately 30 to 35 rupees INR in India. It's a gold powder, pigment powder. It comes in a small jar like this and it can be used with alcohol inks fairly easily. So this is a very, very good alternative that you can use. So I'm going to show you how to use this in your paintings. So this is just a white swatch card by Nara. I am going to use a few inks. So for this I have taken out two colors Orchid and Azure by Beyond Inks. So let's see how it goes and how I use this um, uh, metallic powder. I'm sure there might be uh, you know some more brands that will work exactly like this. So you know just test it and see what works for you and what is available in your you know country or region and try something like this. So what I usually do is let me just show you how it floats on top. I'm just putting some drops of alcohol in the middle over here and then some drops of uh, blue over here and one drop of pink and what I do with this powder is I open the bottle I use my any back of a pencil or a anything to just drop a little bit of pigment on the top of my ink like this and that is enough uh, pigment already and let's see how that works so for this I will just use my blow tool and see how this works and how it clumps together. It's such a shiny golden color, very beautiful and looks so nice. I can use a little more maybe but quite happy with how it looks. Let me add some more color over here some more alcohol and a little bit of more pigment see how nicely it clumps The only thing that you have to keep in mind when you use this, it's very important so keep that in mind. When we are using a pigment powder like this, it does not have the kind of a glue or a binding agent that uh, you know all the other brand of uh, metallic inks have. So uh, those binding agents and resin like substance, they stick the golden um, metallic pigment to your paper. But this does not have anything like that in it. So the metallic pigment will not stick so well to the paper. So what you have to do to make it stick is by spraying varnish right after you're done. I mean once it is dry and you're sure that it is, you know, your work is complete. Just spray it with varnish. You can check out the other video about varnishing so that it gets stuck to the paper and doesn't move much more and you can be you know relaxed that your pigment will not come out by touching with fingers or uh, rubbing so you can use it just like this so easy to use and move and it clumps so well unlike any other uh, pigment that i have ever seen like this very beautiful It's like the cheapest alternative for all your gold work in alcohol ink art. It works wonderfully with, you know, simple techniques like this 
or even with the blow dryer which I'm going to show you now. So just look how beautifully it has clumped and created such nice lines. Okay, so I'll, I'll dry it with the dryer a little bit. Okay. So this is how it looks and it stays on top of the work which is quite good for uh, you know a gold pigment because there are many in the market who just you know uh, go down and stick to the paper and get um, you know colored by the ink but this remains nice vibrant gold so very beautiful all right so now let me show what you can do with this um, along with the dryer so I'm going to take another swatching sheet and this time I'm going to change the color. I will take um, plum color by Beyond Inks. So I'll try the ripples effect with this. I have not tried it till now. So this would be the first time that I will be trying it. So let's see how that goes. I am putting some alcohol in the middle just like I do for all the other techniques. This is 99% alcohol and I am taking three, uh, five, four or five drops of color and I am going to put this pigment right on top of it. There is a fan running in my room that's why the pigment is flying a little bit here and there but don't worry about that. So now you see how the pigment is looking. I am going to add some more alcohol and I will dry it. So just look at this, such beautiful lines have come with this gold. It all depends on the color you try to use along with it. So uh, let me just show you if it reactivates. For example, this part, if I would want to reactivate how that works. So let's see. Uh, there's already gold at the bottom. So I'm taking some more drops of ink over here and I'm taking alcohol to reactivate this part. Let's see if it uh, comes back up and starts to float again. So I am just scrubbing on it so that it you know starts to move. Yeah so it's coming back on top of the work so that's a good sign. Cool. So I'm going to dry it once again. Just check this out, so pretty. The gold can be reactivated again and can be used again. So that's a really good use of this. Now, let me try something that you all want to see whether we can make a rose with this or not. Do I have another one of these sheets? Okay, I'll use the back of the one that I've already used for some other work. So. So for a rose, let's see if it works. You can create a mixture of this powder along with the alcohol and keep it. 
that is also possible but I am trying it and I am trying to use it directly from the bottle and see how that works. Let's see. So wow, do you see how nicely it plumped? So a rose is definitely possible. I think I used a little more pigment here, but we can uh, definitely, most definitely make a rose with this. With a little less pigment maybe, but very nice. It plumps beautifully in lines at the tip of the petals. So very nice. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you today is how to use it. Let's see how it works on a black surface. So, I'm just going to make some lines or something with it on a black surface. Of course, all the colors look beautiful. I mean, all the metallic colors look so good on black surface. So, there is no doubt that this is going to look very pretty as well. So, for that, I am just going to take like a little bit of this gold powder very less and i'm gonna activate this with alcohol Wow, look at this, so pretty. So, as you can see, we can definitely, you should give it a try. It's a beautiful alternative and I'm sure there might be many other of similar kind of mica powders or metallic powders that you can tr try out with your alcohol ink art. So, let's see what we made today. Um, this beautiful abstract with gold plumps, this rose and these ripples and lines they look so pretty so all of this was done with this fabrica and i'm sure it's gonna last a while because you know this little bottle has around um, five grams of product but all you need is a tiny pinch or you know just the tip of your brush or a pencil that's all you need to create so much with it. So do give it a try and don't forget to spray it with varnish once you're done because let me show you what happens if we don't spray with the varnish. So let's see in this one. If I rub my finger, it will come off like this. So I should have clicked a picture of this first before rubbing my finger on it. But yeah, so I hope you get my point that you have to, it is very important to spray it with, spray it with varnish so that you don't lose the shine of the gold. So that's it from me today. I hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends and thank you so much. Thank you.